what is the value of x given that a b c d similar to k l m n this simple for similar we have the so let's say this figure one and this is figure two now we need to get x and these two figures are similar so that means the sides also would be similar so that means x divide by 10 would be equal to 6 divide by 5 now let's make cross multiplication so we have 5x equal to 60 divide by 5 divide by 5 so x would be equal to 12 so the answer here is 12 the two triangles drawn below are similar. I have two triangles which three letters in the correct order, order must be used to fill in the blank. Triangle A, B, C. Similar to this triangle. So now we need to find which point or which letter is similar to the other point and other letter in the other triangle. So here when I look to these two figures, I find that B is a right angle and G is a right angle, so B is similar to G. Now the remaining two points, I need to find how we can make this triangle in the same position of this triangle. So I have the triangle G, R, L. What I can to do to make this triangle in the same position of, of ABC triangle, I can rotate the triangle 90 degree counterclockwise to get the same position of this triangle and G is the center of the rotation so if I move 90 degree counterclockwise for example point L will become in this side beside G here and this is L and R when I rotate it, it will become down here 90 degree so I will get the same triangle of ABC triangle. So now I have G similar to point P and L similar to point A and R similar to point C. So I will get L G R. So triangle ABC, the correct order is similar to triangle L G R. In the figure below, the two polygons are similar. These two polygons are similar. Now, fill in the plank X. So, these two polygons are similar, so we need to know which side is similar to other side. So here, if I can see here, this side, which is KL, is similar to this side. Okay. And this is the long side, similar to this side, so 39, similar to 13. So, in this case, I have, will apply the equation that x divided by 10 would be equal to 39 divided by 13. So, now, let's make a cross multiplication. So here 13x would be equal to 39 multiply 10 divide by 13 divide by 13 so x would be equal to 30. So the answer here is 30. Now which four letters in the correct order must be used to fill in the blank? J, K, L, N. I have J, K, L, N. We need to see which letters in the other polygon are similar to this one. So here I have Y is similar to K. So now I have K will be Y. Now letter J, this letter J
would be similar to G. Letter J would be similar to G. J similar to G. So N would be similar to F. And N is similar to F. So the remaining one is S. So the answer here it will be G, Y, S, F. A blueprint of a classroom is similar to the actual classroom. The classroom is rectangular. So let's say we have the actual classroom is a rectangular with length of six meter and width of four meter. Now on blueprint, the length of the classroom, so we have the, this is the actual, it is actual. Now this is blueprint. The length here is 15, okay. So the width of the classroom on the blueprint this is missing, so we need to get, so let's denote it with X. So here, as we see, the classroom, actual classroom and blueprint classroom are similar. They are similar. So we can say X divided by 4 equal to 15 divided by 6. So here, divide by 2 is 2, divide by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 15, it will be 5, so x will be equal to 10. If this is in the simplest way to get the x. If not, you can do cross multiplication and divide. For example, I can say 6x will be equal to 4 multiply 15, divide by 6, divide by 6, by 2 equal 2, by 2 equal 3, by 3 equal 1, by 3 equal 5, so x will be equal to 10. So the answer here is 10. In the zoo, a giraffe that is 4.4 meter, this is a giraffe 4.4 meter, tall casts a shadow of length 10 meter. The giraffe is standing between a tree that casts a shadow of length 25 meter. And a deer is 2.2 meter Tall. The triangles formed by the deer and its shadow, this is a triangle, let's name this is A, B, C, because the, now it's a triangle, okay. The giraffe and its shadow, we have A, let's make another triangle here. Let's say E, F. And shadow and by a tree and its shadow are similar and we have another triangle here okay let's say w y so now here saying if the shadow of the deer is x meter this is the shadow of the deer which is x so we need to get the shadow of the deer which is x now here I have three triangles. I have A, B, C. This is for the deer. And I have A, E, F. This is for the giraffe. And I have A, W, Y. This is for the tree. And he mentioned that they are similar. So that means each side in each triangle are similar to other. So now let, we need to get x. So here I have the value in this in the giraffe triangle. I have the value of two sides. I have the tall, which is 4.4, and I have the 10 meter, which is the shadow of the giraffe. The deer, I have only 2.2. So I can make similarity between a triangle EAF and triangle ABC. So we we'll say that the sides 4.4 divided by 2.2 would be equal to 10 divided by x. 
and X is the side. This is the shadow of the deer. So now let's do cross multiplication. So we'll have 4.4 X would be equal to 2.2 multiply 10. So let's divide by 4.4 and divide here by 4.4. So now let's get X, well, let's calculate. So it would be 2.2 multiply 10, Div then divide by 4.4 so I will get that x would be equal to 5 so here the shadow of the deer would be 5 meter now the second one the height of the tree is y meter I have the height of the tree y meter so we need to get the height of the tree now same like what we did before here in the deer I have the two sides 4 and 10 and for the tree I have here is missing the height of the tree is missing but the shadow of the tree is 25 so I will do the similarity so I have y divide by 4.4 will be equal to 25 divide by 10 we'll do cross multiplication so we have 10y equal to 25 multiply by 4.4. So we'll do a calculations for this one. So I have 25 multiply 4.4 divide by 10. So here y would be equal to 11. So the height of the tree is 11. The diagram below the triangles FGR, this FGR and JLM are similar. Fill in the blank X. So we need to get X. This, these triangles are similar. So the sides will be similar. So we can say, and this triangle is 1, this is triangle 2. So we'll say that X divide by 15 would be equal to 8 divided by 20. So we'll do cross multiplication. So I have 20x would be equal to 15 multiply 8. Here divide by 20, divide by 20. So we'll do the calculations. So I have 15 multiply 8 divide 20 so x will be equal to 6 so the answer here is 6 the two triangles drawn below are similar we have two triangles which three letters in the correct order must be used to fill in the plank correct orders I have triangle a b c so let's see which letters are similar to each other so I have here the c here is right angle and G is right angle so the similar the similar point for C is G now the other two points if I rotate this triangle 90 degree counterclockwise for example A I will move it to this side and B to this side so A will be with L and B will be with M so the answer would be L M G. So this is the answer. Given that triangle KLM, let's draw the triangle. This is KLM, KLM, similar to triangle K dash, L dash, M dash, similar. K dash, L dash, M dash. With KL equal to 12, LM equal to 30, and K dash L dash equal to 6, and they are similar. So what is the length of L dash M dash? This one, we need to know the length of this one. Let's do it with X. So we'll apply the similarity rule, which says X divided by 30 will be equal to 6 divided by 12. Cross multiplication to X will be equal 
2, 6, multiply 30, divide by 12, divide by 12 here, move this one, by 6 equal 1, by 12, by 6 here equal 2, by 2 equal 1, by 30 equal 15, so x will be equal to 15, so the answer here is 15. The two triangles drawn below are similar, similar, with three letters in the correct order must be used to fill in the blank. I have triangle A, P, C. Now let's see here in the two triangle I have P. P is the right angle and P is a right angle so P similar to P, the other triangle. Now remaining two points so I can make these two points if I did the rotation of C 90 degree clockwise so it will come at that point and A will come to this point 90 degree so I will get that C would be corresponding to Y and A and A will be corresponding to K so the answer will be KPY so read the answer is K, P, Y. Refer to the diagram below. Triangle A, K, M. I have triangle A, K, M. Is similar to A, B, C. What could be, what could the similarity constant be? Okay, now A, K, M is similar to A, A, B, C. So that means sides are similar also. So I got it in the form A, K divided by A, B would be equal to AM divided by AC would be equal to KM divided by CB and all of them are equal to constant that means I will get a number from these formulas and I, for example I have that means this side AK divide by AB, I will get a constant number. AM divide AC, I will get also a constant number. So here it's saying what could the similarity constant be. So I'll use any one of them to get the constant number for them. So let's take, for example, AK divide by AB. So we can get the size of AK by calculating the number of units between E and K. So I have here one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, so AK is 7, divide by AB, 7 plus 8, 9. Okay, so here the answer is 7 over 9. Okay, let's validate our answer. Let's take AM divided by AC. Let's see how many units between A and M. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to point M. So I have 7. And to AC is 8 and 9. Now KM, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Divide by BC is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the answer will be 7 over 9. Okay, sometimes maybe I can say AB divide by AK, which will be 9 over 7. This is a right answer. But here in the question is asking lowest term, needs lowest term, which would be 7 over 9. Because if you divide 9 over 7, it is different than divide 7 over 9. So this is will be the lowest form, which is 7 over 9. So this is the answer.